This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Now, I'm your host, Wendy Hanamura, and joining me is the man who has helped to put that fair trade label on 150 million pounds of coffee in the past eight years, bringing $100 million in additional income to small farmers around the world. Transfair USA's President uh, Paul Rice. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Wendy. So, Paul, astounding figures in the Netherlands that we just heard. More than 90% of Everyone in that country knows what fair trade is. What are the um, figures of awareness for this country? Well, we started 10 years later here in the U.S. Uh, we're up to 20%, so the latest figures suggest that 20% of Americans know what fair trade is, and about half of them are buying it, which, you know, in a country uh, with 300 million people is a pretty significant consumer segment. And it's really that growing awareness that is driving the dramatic growth in the fair trade uh, market that we're seeing here in the United States. And we've seen organics really take off mm -hmm. and become so mainstream with everyone from Whole Foods to Walmart selling organic goods. Do you see the same kind of trajectory for fair trade? Yeah, I do. The, um, the fair trade market is really growing um, much, much faster than, than most industry analysts had expected a few years ago. In fact, fair trade is the fastest growing segment of the U.S. coffee industry. Mm -hmm. And I think, like organics, what is driving that in large part is the groundswell of consumer interest. So fair trade is not just a market, it's also a movement. And we see uh, student groups and church groups, environmental organizations getting involved, embracing this very powerful model of, of social and environmental change, and spreading the word. And it's through that kind of uh, network uh, approach, that grassroots movement approach that uh, consumers are finding out about fair trade, looking for the label and, and buying the products. It's an important point because one of your goals is to empower not only the coffee growers but the consumers like you and me. Um, and that speaks to those grassroots movements. Yeah, that's exactly right. We really see fair trade as, as um, giving voice to producers and consumers on both ends of the global supply chain. And you know, I think people in this country in general have a sense that social and environmental problems are not getting better. In fact, if anything, they're getting worse. So I think people in, in, in the United States want to do something, but they're so busy. You know, they're, they're, they're so busy with their own lives that they really don't have time to go out and demonstrate or protest or even vote. So the trick is to create models of change that are convenient, in fact, uh, effortless, so that people can plug in. Well, what's the best way to do it? Through the point of purchase. Yeah. We all have to go to, uh, to the store, and um, most of us go to cafes. So if we can put products, sustainable products, fair products on the shelf, and if they're good, if they're, if they're really high quality, then what we found is consumers really want a part of that. They want to be a part of a positive model for change. To learn more about this program, visit linktv.org.